What's up, Lead Gen Beast and my fellow Go High Level entrepreneurs. Wanted to do a quick training on the new client portal inside of Go High Level. This is really cool stuff. I'm going to do some additional training on uh, like probably an updated version on the affiliate manager. You don't really need to do that at the moment. I'm going to have a link down below on uh, creating an affiliate program in, in, uh, inside of Go High Level because that is part of this client portal. This is basically where your affiliates can log in, get their links, see their commissions, which is super awesome. Uh, also within the client portal, they get access to any courses or membership uh, membership sites that you've given them access to. And you can also, uh, they get access to a community group that you can create too. Probably I'm gonna do a separate training on creating the community group. I just wanna show you in this training how to use the client portal, how to get it set up uh, so you can start uh, sending affiliates and you know uh, if someone's in a, like purchase a course from you or is in a membership site, you can send them to this login uh, client portal. It's really cool. All right, so let's dive into this. So first things first, I just need to get some basic things out of the way. So if you go to sites, you'll now see client portal right here. Let's get the domain set up done. It's really easy. Uh, you can actually even just use the subdomain if you just want to keep it simple. Uh, I added a custom domain. You don't have to do that. But uh, so mine's members.leadsforlocals.net. That's where people would go. I would send people to have them log in to this portal area. All right. Uh, it gives you instructions on how to do it. See name record, create a subdomain. I'm not going to go through that. It's pretty simple. For now, uh, I would just say use the subdomain. Type in your business name right here. So it'd be your business name app dot client club dot net. And that's the URL. You can click right here to copy it. You can put this in an email or a text message uh, when people sign up to become an affiliate or they purchase a course, whatever. You can send them this URL if you want uh, for, for them to be able to log in. Now, again, I'm still, I still have a separate login area for my membership sites at the moment. The primary reason I'm doing that right now is because the communities part is not um, like you can't make the groups private at the moment. So, and I'm going to have multiple groups and I don't want someone who purchased something in this industry to also be able to join the group for a completely other industry or, or, or if I have a private, like exclusive group that only certain members can get into, I don't want other people to be able to join that group, obviously. So until that functionality comes out, I have separate membership sites, uh, a separate area for my membership sites. So keep that in mind. All right, but get your uh, domain set up uh, down here at the bottom. You just click update domain. Once you've made your uh, updates, you would verify the domain if you're doing a custom one, yada, yada. All right, branding, pretty simple stuff. Don't overcomplicate this, guys. Uh, you know, it took me maybe, 15 minutes to do this because I, um, <clears throat> I I actually did like a custom portal image. You don't have to do this, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it's right here. Uh, let's uh, go to. So I just uh, custom custom made mine here. Uh, I actually need to log out so I can show you what this looks like. Okay, so when people go to your domain or the subdomain, this is what They'll see now this is a custom again uh, this is a custom portal image here all right i've just got my logo uh my websites all that good stuff pretty simple page nothing crazy so you can uh, come in here and you can add a favicon if you want uh, the portal image it gives you the exact sizes you can add to your logo if you want i just added it to my portal image it's up to you though you put a support email your your branding colors and then right here is your portal name you don't have a lot of characters to to use right here so you're kind of limited Keep that in mind, uh, but that's where this comes from right here, members portal, because this is actually not part of the image. So when you, if you do create a portal image here, just keep in mind when you're designing it that the text is going to be right here. So you kind of need to work around it, uh, which is a little annoying, but it's all good, not a big deal. Portal description, all right, basic stuff here, guys. So go ahead and get that done. The uh, portal image, I just use Canva as always. So I did a custom design 720 by 720, and then just pick a just pick a template. As uh, I, I just put like simple, you do like simple professional. See what comes up. Uh, just stuff with you know not a ton of text or anything, but I just again I just added my logo to it, website, and that was it. And then you just download it, upload it, good to go. All right. So that's the setup of the client portal. Let me show. Uh, let's actually log in here and let me show you what it looks like. And also I should mention this too is I don't send people to, uh, I'm not right now, I'm not sending people to this page to have them sign up for anything. Cause you can, you know, like here's new user sign up. 
I have people, you know, on landing pages, order forms, people purchasing courses, stuff like that. Um, they'll already be able to use their email address for this. Uh, but when you send them to their uh, to this page, they just need to click the forgot password link here, reset their password. The, that's what this email looks like right here. All right, reset password for members portal. They click here, they'll reset their password, and then they'll be able to log in with that email address. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, now, once they're logged in, this is what it looks like. And it's really cool They uh, that you have access, they have access to three different features at the moment. If they click up here at the top right, they've got communities, courses, affiliates. They can also adjust their profile as well, which if you're using communities, which I'm gonna do a separate training on, uh, would be good for them to do. So if they cl click on the edit profile, I'm actually not gonna go into that because um, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll blur out any information that YouTube doesn't like. Uh, why are you making me log into this again? Let's try that again. Wow, now it's invalid. Okay, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, um, maybe, maybe we're not gonna go through that. Fun stuff. Oh my goodness, okay, well, anyways. Uh, I'll, I'll try that again in a minute. Uh, I want to go through the, the main parts of the client portal. Here's one community group. So I'm going to use the, uh, an affiliate program as an example for this. Uh, so let's say, uh, so you have an affiliate program for your, your business built that and go high level. I have a link to that training in the description as well, if you want to do that, but there's, there's three things you can provide your affiliates. Now, um, uh, you can do a client portal or an affiliate portal right here. So if they click on affiliates. This is where they can get access to all the campaigns that you've given them access to. What is going on? All right, one second, guys. All right, we're, we're good again. Good times. So click up here, affiliates. Um, they Basically, you, now, uh, you can now have uh, an affiliate dashboard here. So any campaigns that you have added the affiliate to or given them access to, they'll be able to get their links right here. Mine's disabled right now. It's nice of me to do that to myself, huh? Anyways, uh, they'll be able to get access to all the campaigns. So uh, maybe it's an order form page you got. Uh, maybe it's a lead magnet opt-in page that you've given them access to that they can promote as well. And uh, they, basically, they just get access to all of their, their links here. They can track all of their leads and customers, see their commissions. Really, really cool stuff. So that is finally available. Uh, and the, But then uh, let's say after they sign up for your affiliate program, maybe you have an affiliate training like members area again that you built inside a go high level the using the membership feature all right uh, which again i'll have training to down in the description if you want to check that out uh, they can go to courses here and they'll have access to all the courses that you give them access to which could be an affiliate training course showing them you know different strategies on how to promote the program uh things like that right so really really cool stuff with courses and then communities is maybe you have an affiliate community specifically for your business, your product, et cetera. Now, again, uh, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm keeping these two things separate at the moment until a little bit more functionality comes out with the community, which uh, the community feature, which I'm really, really excited about. This thing is just awesome. I'm going to do separate training on that later on, but maybe you have uh, an affiliate community group that you know where people can network and they can ask questions maybe you do weekly trainings in and, and stuff like that it's similar to like if you go to school.com uh that that's kind of the idea here and it's a great replacement for facebook groups as well i'm still using facebook groups but while this is uh, while this is getting rolled out but uh, i'm absolutely going to be taking advantage of this it's just cool that everything is in one place you know they got you got your affiliate portal uh, uh and dashboard you have access to membership sites and courses and you have access to the community group all in one area. This is it's just really cool stuff. So uh, yeah, so this part's still in the works. I'm guessing this is gonna be separate than the courses area. I'm not really sure, we'll see where they go with it. Uh, and um, you can also see uh, the people within the community too. So uh, anyways, I think this is really cool guys. The client portal is definitely an awesome new feature inside of Go High Level. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of potential with this. So go ahead and get it set it up. Uh, get it set up with your domain and your branding, You know, customize it however you want. Uh, drop some feedback down below. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on this and how you're using the client portal. Uh, you know, what you're going to be doing with communities and, and all that good stuff. And uh, leave some feedback too. If there's maybe something I left out that you have questions on, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, uh, I, I try to read as, uh, all, and respond to all the comments that I can. 
All right, so hopefully that was helpful, guys. All right, uh, make sure you hit the like button if you found that helpful. Uh, consider subscribing. Go through my Go High Level affiliate link if you don't have it. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Keep crushing it. Matty Ice is out to your success.